the Duke of Sussex was snapped in the front passenger seat of a Range Rover looking somewhat pensive. He was dressed casually in a blue sweater. Harry, 36, touched down at Heathrow Airport last Friday and has since been isolating at Frogmore Cottage. Tomorrow he will stand by his brother's side as they unveil a specially commissioned statue of Princess Diana to mark their late mother's 60th birthday. Harry was seen being driven through the gates of Kew Gardens in West London this afternoon. The royal was lined up as a surprise guest at a charity function in the Botanic Gardens. Harry and William's joint appearance will come just four months after Harry and Meghan publicly accused the palace of failing to take her mental health issues seriously, and said an unnamed royal had made racist comments about their son Archie. In their interview with Oprah Winfrey broadcast in early March, Harry said his bond with William, 39, had been reduced to space following the fallout from Megshi. Harry flew back to Britain for Prince Philip's funeral in April and was seen chatting to William and Kate following the service at St. George Chapel in Windsor Castle. But he and William were separated by their cousin Peter Phillips in the procession behind the coffin en route to the church. The Duke is expected to jet back to California to Meghan, 39, soon after tomorrow's event at Kensington Palace. The Duchess of Sussex remained at the couple's £11 million mansion in Montecito, California, with two-year-old Archie and four-week-old baby Lilibet. It is not known if Harry will meet with the Duchess of Cambridge and the three Cambridge children during his fleeting visit. While Kate and her children will not join William at the unveiling, the four will view the artwork at another time, away from the cameras. William has in the past said he regularly speaks to his children about his late mother, who died following a car crash in Paris in August 1997. According to reports he will take his wife and their three children, Prince George, 7, Princess Charlotte, 6 and Prince Louis, 3, to view the statue before it is unveiled to the public. Harry's trip back to the UK had been doubted by some royal commentators who said he would cancel it if Meghan gave birth around the same time as the July 1st event. However, the Sussexes welcomed their daughter at Santa Barbara Cottage Hospital on June 4 and announced the news two days later. Lilibet Lily Diana is named after her great-grandmother Queen Elizabeth II who is known affectionately by family members as Lilibet. Harry who had to take a negative COVID test in order to be allowed out of quarantine today, is staying at Frogmore Cottage with his cousin Princess Eugenie, her husband Jack Brooksbank and their son August. The tot was born in February at the Portland Hospital, the same place Meghan gave birth to Archie in May 2019. While the Sussexes had originally planned to live full-time at Frogmore, they left the property vacant when they quit as working royals last year. The Queen passed the country residence to Eugenie and Jack under the condition that Harry and Meghan could stay there when they visit the UK, according to reports. Meghan and the two Sussex children are expected to join Harry at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee celebrations next summer. Her Majesty will become the first British monarch to mark 70 years of service, having acceded to the throne on February 6, 1952 at the age of 25 years old. The official celebrations will be held in June 2022 on a four-day weekend. The party estimated to cost £15 million will see the streets of London come to life with marching bands, a giant dragon puppet, theatre acts and circus performances.